Welcome to the garden. Today we're building a brand new wattle fence. That's a woven stick method of construction. And all you need are sticks. So I've got a piece of buckthorn here. And you want to use your strongest material for stakes. So we're going to use the bottom about four or five feet. So that's how I get my stakes. And then you pound these in as deep as you can. And then you can use the thinner material that's a little bendy as your weaving material. So we're going to get started and you want to alternate which side your sticks contact. So we're going on the outside edge and then on the inside and then the outside. Weaving them back and forth. Doesn't have to be perfect and you can trim the ends later. And the trick is to really shore it down tight. That's going to provide tension and that's going to be the strength of your wall. So on the next piece, we want to come in on the other side and then weave back and forth the other way. And this has been used since the Stone Age but it's very common in the Middle Ages and in the Victorian gardens, it's very common. You can use this technique to make a raised bed, which we may end up doing later, turning this wall into a bed. But you can use all sorts of materials. Whatever you've got lying around, grapevine will work, although this piece isn't cooperating. You could even use tall grass as long as you have nice sturdy stakes because these are your base. And your pieces don't have to be nice and clean because you can come back later and trim them all. All the little branches on one side. And this is going to be a really strong wall. As long as you've got enough material to pack it down tight, it'll keep out rabbits, keep out deer. And it goes pretty quick. And don't worry if your pieces aren't long enough to go all the way down. You can start at whichever stake you like. As long as you have three stakes, between your pieces, you can pull off your weave. Just alternating your weaves. Let's just speed this up a bit. See if I can show you a finished product today. This is what I'm talking about when you don't have to clean these. These will all just compress and fill in. Let's see, I'm going this way, then this way. Shoring them down. And as you go, you can stand on these to compact them or do a few layers and then stand on them. And there's a few different ways you could do this. If you don't have a lot of material and you're working with something that can split very easily, you can easily double up your material by splitting them in half if you've got really nice like bamboo or something. But I'm just working with sticks and I don't think it, they're going to split for me. So I'm not going to risk it. And if you've got an awkward piece, you can try turning it, twisting it until it fits in. Or just discard it. Because that'll be a weak point later on. about a quarter of the way done. 
So I'm going to switch over to time lapse, keep this going, and I'll show you when we're done. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.